Joy Lab. Hi, I'm Tanya. Halloween weekend is coming up and we have a construction project going on in my house, so all of my costumes are boxed up. And I've been so busy preparing for this whole reconstruction thing that I haven't made a costume. I need something for tomorrow night for the Harvest Carnival at church. I'm working and I need something that I can be comfortable in. Something recognizable, something I can wear mm, easy flat shoes because I'll be outside and walking around helping everybody. My go-to Harvest Carnival costume is Princess Leia. Just with the two buns and the white robe, but that is packed up. So I need something for tomorrow night. Easy. And here's what I came up with. Votes for women. I'm gonna be a suffragette. <laughs> all I needed and all you need is something that's already in your closet. A white blouse has to be long sleeve and a long-ish skirt, any color, it doesn't matter, and then some sort of hat. You see, in the United States, the women's voting, the Votes for Women movement took forever. Whatever you wear, as long as it's a dress, it's going to match the style. The first women's rights convention was in 1848. When did we get the vote? 1920. You could even wear a flapper dress with a Votes for Women sign. All you need to do is make the sash. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in today's video. You probably have seen old timey pictures of women all dressed together marching with their sashes. You've probably even seen Mary Poppins and the Votes for Women song, which is so fun. The basic sash is white and with the letters votes for women down the side. And then there's a colored ribbon on both sides of it. Because the suffragist movement took so long, there is a wide variety of sashes. You can go and look online and see all sorts of old pictures with different kinds of sashes with different color stripes on the side. And because most women sewed, during that time period, 1848 to 1920, there was a lot of freestyling with the sash. I'm going to show you the American National Women Party sash, the design from 1913. It had the white down the middle, and then the two colors that they chose to edge it are the purple and the gold. And I have to read the description so you know what these colors represent. Purple is the color of loyalty, constancy to purpose, unswerving steadfastness to a cause. White, the emblem of purity, symbolizes the quality of our purpose. And gold, the color of light and life, is as the torch that guides our purpose, pure and unswerving. And it still took seven more years to get the vote. Well, we're going to do that sash today. Now I chose the satin blanket binding with bias tape on both sides. I'm going for quick. The fastest way would be to use ribbon, a two inch wide white and a one inch wide purple and one inch wide gold. Lay them out and just stitch them together. But ribbon, when you sew it together, it's so stiff that it kind of wavers. It's not a nice smooth stitch. It'd be fine, it'd be perfectly fine, but I thought I'd want something not that quick but has a better look to it. If I was, if I had more time, I probably would have bought fabric, a quarter yard of the three colors. But since Halloween is coming up, you know what the lines were like at the fabric counter to cut the fabric. That's why I came up with the satin binding. It's going to look lovely with a shimmer to it and bias tape is so forgiving and so 
easy to attach. It's gonna be very fast. Is this the least expensive option? Absolutely not. This satin binding, this blanket tape, blanket binding, this, this right here costs $8.99. I could get fabric for like $2.99, so. But I just didn't have time to wait at the fabric cutting desk. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna take the binding and cut approximately the right amount. And I'm gonna cut longer than I think I need. The sash always starts at the right shoulder. I often think about what would I have done? Because amazingly, there were women who were against women's suffrage. There were women who said, I'm not gonna vote. Which then segues to the obvious question, how many of us vote anyway? That looks good. Now to make it lay flat, eventually I'm gonna make a little tuck on the shoulder. Just a little pinch to seam that off. But I don't need to do that right now. Just so it lays flat across the shoulder. And then that will be like a, a mark for where the center is that belongs on my shoulder. Okay, now I will sew. All right, you can see the bias tape has, it's pre-folded and that makes it so you don't have to finish the edges in this situation. I'm just gonna tuck the white right in between there. And you see the white uh, blanket binding is like a big ribbon. It, the edges are already finished and the inside it's not shiny, but on the outside it's shiny for the baby blankets, for their blankie. I'm just gonna finger pin, which means I will hold the fabric in place as I stitch. Got my sash and I fold it in half and I need to make the little uh, pinch in the shoulder so that it lays nice on the shoulder. And it's just, I'm just estimating, I'm gonna do a diagonal stitch right like this. probably screaming at me, Tanya, you used yellow instead of white. Doesn't matter, it's on the inside. So now it will lay nice on the diagonal over my shoulder. Let's try it on the dress form. Women then were just as creative as women now. So everyone had to have a way to attach here at the hip. And that's where some creativity came in. Rosettes or special pins. Sometimes you had a, a club or a, a state pin. For me, in my desperate last minute <laughs> Halloween costume, I'm using a safety pin. Tonight I'll have to sew on the boats for women. I'm going to do it on the front and on the back. The whole point is you want people to recognize what you are easily. You don't want to have to answer their questions about, eh, what are you supposed to be? Are you on the Titanic? Are you a, a, a beauty queen? Are you the queen? No. If you have boats for women, everybody knows that you're for women's rights. You're a suffragette.
I'm convinced. <laughs> well, so how was that for an easy, quick, last minute costume? My name again is Tanya. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Joy Lab. Learning done right. Learn more with Joy Lab. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Visit us at www.joylab.biz. Thank you.